Think back to when you were in school. I'll bet that they had one of those black and white round analog clocks. You know the ones that I'm talking about. Remember how every time you used to look at that clock, it felt like the second hand would just pause for a moment longer than it should? Now, I promise, time was not standing still out of sheer boredom. It's actually science. Spoiler alert, I am a total geek, okay? Think about this, have you ever stared at yourself in the mirror and glanced from eye to eye trying to catch them moving? Maybe not, and I'm just weird, but you can't. You can't see your own eyes darting back and forth when you're looking in a mirror. You can see your friends moving, so it's not a speed issue. The reason for this phenomenon is the same reason that those second hands when you're sitting in school seem to take forever. It's called saccadic masking. This happens because the blur between looking at one point and another point is completely incomprehensible to our brains. It's chaos. So our brain literally invents or masks over what happens during the period between our eyes glancing from one spot to the next. It takes bits of the destination our eyes point to and fills in the gap with the information. Because this blur is incomprehensible, we're essentially blind during this period. The strangest part is our brains fill in the gap that happens in that blind period. In fact, when you add up the time that your eyes spend darting around, on average, we are blind for about 40 minutes per day. Now, I'm not talking about regular old blindness. The blindness that we're talking about, you don't even realize. Your brain does an amazing cover-up job to make it unnoticeable. Did you know that there are tests online that you can actually look up that will show you actual blind spots in your vision. The spot on your optic disc where your optic nerve uh, exits your eyes has no rods or cones. You're blind there, but your brain uses other information to make up what's there. So the tests you look up online literally have dots disappear on printed paper. It is crazy. It's something that our body naturally does, and if we aren't looking for it, we would never notice it. They're literally our blind spots. King David was a man who had some highs and lows throughout his life. And I think those lows are what brought the realization that we see in Psalm 139, 23 through 24. Here, David has been talking about the inescapable presence and knowledge of God, specifically his intimate knowledge of us. And he says, search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. Point out anything in me that offends you and lead me along the path of everlasting life. Now, you don't ask someone to point something out unless there's something that you don't see yourself. The hard part about blind spots in our lives is that we're blind to them. We don't know that they're there unless someone else points them out to us. Maybe during this season where some of us have experienced a slowdown, we can have an honest conversation with God and ask him to reveal our blind spots to us. The spots that are hidden to us that need to be brought to the feet of Jesus. The wonderful thing is, when God reveals these spots to us, we can more clearly surrender those to him and his transforming power. When we're asking God to examine our hearts, it lets us more fully experience the light because there's less of us hiding in the dark. Now, I'm not saying that this is easy or this is comfortable, but it is totally worth it. Would you pray with me those last two verses of Psalm 139? Father, would you search our hearts? God, would you test us and know our our anxious thoughts? And would you point out any part of us that offends you, any part of us that is not surrendered over to you. God, would you point out in us the spots that are blind to us that only you can see so that we can be fully surrendered over to you and and to your transforming power. And God, we pray that you would start something new in us. 
We love you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for joining me today. God bless.